Okay, continue from the mesh that you've made so far with step three, we're going to start making parts. And the first part we're going to make is actually the truck bed. So, and this is very simple to do, but first thing we're going to do is go here, rename this level two, copy, paste, drop it in here. And you can do many different types of levels if you want to. Each, if you go so far, level, level, level. But we've got a basic level and an advanced level where we're just getting started to model parts. And actually, this level two could be your part maker if you want to call it that. So we'll do that. Part maker. And that's the one we're going to use to make all our parts. Now let's go up here and name this truck bed. All right. This is going to be our truck bed. All right. Let's go ahead and save. Go to F3, the side view. Let's select all these points. Delete them. Delete these. Delete these up here. And delete these right here. And even go in here and delete these right here. There we go. We want to make sure we didn't delete the wrong ones, but all right. There's our truck bed. Now, why I did that is because we're going to have to add cuts to this, or we may have to add cuts to this, or we have to do a loop cut, but we don't want to affect the rest of the truck and cross, cause triangles or what have you and things like that. So this way we can model the truck bed and not get into any trouble <coughs> here. So. So the first thing we want to do is line these lines up back straight pretty so that we can add the lights back here and we can add the tailgate so that it doesn't cause problems for us with this curb here. So let's go to F4 and go to the back view, which is on, and we're going to have to change the reference image here too. So go to edit. Config all, select your viewport, go to the back, and navigate to your blueprint folder, which it should already go to, thumbnails. Uh, select the low rider, no hyper back in, add that. There we go. And we're going to have to adjust it because it didn't line up correctly with the image here. So what we're going to do is scale the X down so that it fits or it lines up pretty good. There we go. All right, save. And now what we want to do is straighten these out. We want to straighten that out so that we get a real nice straight mesh. And you can straighten that one out too. And there we go. So, you know, don't worry about the side. We're going to remodel that side anyway. So now what we want to do is bring this one over and straighten it out with this one. There we go. And now it's got us working on this side. So we'll go here. Now there we go. We've got it lined up where we can make the bed, which is pretty easy to do right here. So what we're going to do next is just make the bed. And what we want to do is copy paste, go ahead and say, and name this tail gate. There we go. And then copy paste again, or just paste again, and name bed cover. Okay. And you can go ahead and turn those off so we don't see them, because they're going to help us make the um, other parts that we need. So select the bed again. And what you want to do now is go ahead and get the high, uh, the selection tool and let's go to polygon mode. Select these polygons here. And then delete them. There we go. Now, what we're going to do now is 
we're going to add an edge to this to give it more depth and look more like a tailgate or more real so that we have these shifts here so and we want to keep square so we're going to go to the knife tool or quads if you want to call them and double click click it to bring it up we're going to go to the loop tool close it down and we're going to go ahead and say right here go ahead and click boom add there we're modeling from this side so do the same thing here and click boom there we go we'll do this side just for the heck of it because we're modeling we're going to delete the side and add hyper into it anyway so now you're going to have to do it here because you got too much of a slope here so select here say boom there we go we got a much cleaner cut there too there now now we've got rounded out here so we've got to add a little loop here too okay just right there on the edge there we go and that just squares it up a little bit more for us on there now you could do this and go like this make it square but we're not going to worry about that because we're going to extrude it and it'll help out a lot let's do it over here there we go so far so good and we're not going to worry about extruding these areas because they're extruded but we want to extrude these other areas so what we're going to do next is go to line mode select and we want to go ahead and do this boundary select and stop at boundary edges uh, it's not working there we go now now we got all that and we don't need these areas down here so like so just go down here and just hold the control key and deselect these we don't want them we don't need them selected We want that selected right there because we want that to come in a little bit. So reselect that one right there, not that one. There we go. Deselect those. We don't want that little part right there. So deselect it. Double check. Make sure that you've got everything selected that you want. All right. What we're going to do now is go ahead, extrude just a little tiny bit, then go to this tool right here and extrude inward. There we go. And then we have it extruded. Now we can check it out to see where it went to. Okay, pretty good. So let's widen it a little bit. And we're more. There we go. There we go. And this kind of messed up here, so let's go back to that. And go back to your selection tool and deselect these right here. Deselect that right there. You have to go from the bottom. There we go. And Go to the extrude. I mean the scale tool. There we go. Front view. Lined up pretty good. There we go. Okay. Okay. What we're gonna do now. What we're gonna do now is add a little cut right here. So go back to points mode. Knife cut. And we want to go ahead and add a little bit of cut right here. Select from the bottom. There we go. Right there. That just squares it up more for us. Okay. All right. Now go to here. Select all points. Right click and optimize. Optimize. There we go. And 
there goes our tail our end of the truck the bed of the truck looks pretty good so let's save it <laughs> 